So I did my burning question on teacher and student relationships and how um, these relationships affect mathematics success, mathematical success. Yeah. Um, so the rationale behind my question is um, the notion of like low performance participation and kind of like overall disconnect between students and mathematics. Um, I feel like there's a lot of students who come in and they're just like, oh, I hate math. I'm like, oh, I'm not good at math because of like previous experiences. So I kind of wanted to delve into the notion of whether or not a relationship with the teacher would help them overcome like this mathematic like disconnect. Um, we also just had a discussion about it in class in, in relation to is curriculum or other things more important than a relationship in order for um, students to be successful in math. Okay, so first some background, um, or at least theories in relation to um, student-teacher relationships. We have um, the social cognitive theory, the attachment theory, and the self-system theory. So I actually wanna start with the attachment theory since it kind of pertains to younger children. So the attachment theory is the notion that um, students or just children in general um, kind of organize their memories or experiences between good and bad. So if they create a positive attachment to you, anything associated with what you do with them will become a positive light. Um, so there's a couple of research or studies, one from Purdue University specifically, that kind of talks about how preschoolers who have a really good connection with their teachers tend to enjoy school more and be at a higher cognitive level at the end of the year. More specifically, um, once they grow older, they don't have this detachment to harder level material encompassing both English and math. Right? They associate the positive experience they had in school with their teacher to positive experience in math. Um, the other theory I wanna talk about is social cognitive theory that relates the idea that um, people or students learn in a social setting, more specifically modeling. So if a teacher and a student were to have a positive connection, right, they would be more inclined to follow the model of the teacher um, as well as their peers. So they would associate anything that happens in class with a positive idea. Um, so um, they learn best from a model which they approve of or see in a positive light. My last theory that I wanna talk about is the self-system theory. And this kind of relates to students in general, but my specific examples are for older children um, or older students. And it's the idea that students have three basic needs um, in order to be successful in a classroom. They wanna have competence, autonomy, and relatedness, right? They wanna feel related to the material as well as the person teaching them. They wanna have competence or the idea that um, they are able to succeed in the material that it, it is existing in this environment. Um, and autonomy, they wanna have a choice as to whether or not to engage in the material. So students, or sorry, teachers who have older students and have a positive connection with them and meet these three requirements from the self-system theory, there's, um, a study that shows that students who have the self-system theory um, like completed by their teacher through this positive relationship causes higher mathematical success in terms of test scores and just overall grades because they're happy to be there. Um, in relation to my personal experience, I completely see this in my students, right? Um, my students constantly like just enjoy my class. They kind of like, oh miss, I'm so excited to be here. Like miss, I don't want to leave, let me stay. Give me extra stuff, like I don't mind skipping my next class. Right? Because they just enjoy like the society that I have encapsulated within my classroom. 
um, they don't have like, so at the beginning they did have a learned helplessness, right? They didn't want to do any math. They were very scared to just exist because it was a math class. But once they realized that there's no harm, like I'm not going to reprimand them for getting something wrong, they try, like, I have no problem with apathetic students who I've heard in other classes don't want to do any work. I teach fundamentals, a, a class for students who, like, historically have a bad time with math that I'm confused as to why they're even in my class. They are so above what is expected of them on paper. And I ask them, why did you fail math last year? And they'll be like, oh, well, I didn't like my teacher. Like, she didn't know what I needed, or he didn't know what I needed to succeed. But you do. Um, and I see this in my own, like, scores, right? Like, I, like, 98.1% of my students are below grade level, especially because I teach fundamentals. But I had a 33% increase from SLG, which is our student learning goal, from one semester to another, right? My students who are not supposed to understand the material, are supposed to be so far behind, are succeeding in a way that even surprises them, right? So I genuinely believe that regardless of your curriculum, regardless of how good of a teacher you are, the most important part of your student's success is your relationship with